In the summer of 1982, Angela Cavallo, a seemingly ordinary mother, became a real-life superhero when she single-handedly lifted a 3,500-pound Chevy Impala to rescue her trapped son. That's quite insane, considering the world deadlift record is 1,104 pounds, 501 kilograms, by Game of Thrones star Hafthor Julius Bjornsson, who is a professional powerlifter and strongman. This extraordinary feat of strength ignites our curiosity, leaving many to ponder the limits of human physical prowess. Is there a theoretical maximum to the weight we can lift? Or do we all possess an untapped reservoir of power just waiting to be unleashed? And the main question is, how heavy can humans theoretically lift? Back in the day, in a world where humans roamed alongside mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and giant ground sloths, strength was a crucial currency for survival. Imagine human strength as a complex puzzle, with each piece representing a factor that contributes to our physical capabilities. Our genetics lay the groundwork, defining the potential range of our strength. They dictate attributes such as muscle fiber composition, which comes in two types. Fast twitch fibers for quick bursts of power and slow twitch fibers for endurance and sustained force. Muscle size, another piece of the puzzle, directly affects the amount of force we can generate. Larger muscles contain more fibers, enabling us to produce greater strength. Meanwhile, our nervous system efficiency acts as the glue that binds the puzzle together, coordinating muscle contractions and ensuring precise, efficient movements. As we assemble the pieces of this puzzle, we edge closer to the concept of theoretical maximum strength. To truly appreciate the potential of human strength, we must first put it into context. The strongest person in the world as of 2022 is Tom Stoltman, who won the world's strongest man competition. He can lift over 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms, which is roughly equivalent to the weight of a grand piano or a small car. By comparison, the average adult male can lift only around 155 pounds, 70 kilograms, a feat that wouldn't even register on Stoltman's scale. If we take a look at our primate relatives, the eastern lowland gorilla is considered to be one of the strongest animals on Earth. These mighty creatures are estimated to be around 6 to 20 times stronger than the average human, capable of lifting up to 1,800 pounds, 816 kilograms. That's the weight of a fully grown bison. But even the mighty gorilla pales in comparison to the Herculean strength of the African elephant. These titans can carry up to 20,000 pounds, 9,072 in kg, equivalent to the weight of a school bus or two 0.5 times the weight of a Volkswagen Beetle. The world of strength training has long been captivated by the big three exercises. The deadlift, bench press, and squat. These compound movements are considered the gold standard for testing raw strength and power, and the world records in each category are a testament to the incredible capabilities of the human body. In 1996, the heaviest deadlift was 903 pounds, 410 kilograms. It took 15 years to beat the record in 2011. From 2011 in almost every year, the record kept breaking. And as of now, the heaviest deadlift on record is an astounding 1,104.5 pounds, 501 kilograms, achieved by Hafthor Julius Bjornsson. The same with the bench press 705 pounds, 320 kilograms in 1996, and now the bench press record stands at 783 pounds, 355 kilograms, held by Julius Maddox. In the realm of squats, the record holder is Tom Platts, who managed to squat an incredible 1,014 pounds, 460 kilograms. In 25 years, human strength in the scale of big three has grown 10%. It's a steep and exponential growth relative to the time. But are these an absolute limit in our strength? What are the records going to be after 20 years or 50 years? Let's begin with the brain. The human brain plays a crucial role in protecting the body from lifting weights that are too heavy or potentially harmful. This protection mechanism is primarily due to the brain's ability to regulate muscle activation and maintain our body's structural integrity. Our brain is responsible for sending electrical signals to the muscles, instructing them to contract and produce force. When we attempt to lift a heavy object, our brain calculates the required force and activates the necessary muscle fibers to accomplish the task. 
However, if the brain perceives the weight to be beyond our body's capabilities, it may prevent certain muscle fibers from activating or limit the force generated, effectively safeguarding our muscles, tendons, and bones from injury. This protective mechanism is also evident in the concept of muscle inhibition. Sometimes our brain may limit muscle activation if it senses pain, inflammation, or injury. This is a natural response designed to protect us from exacerbating existing problems or hurt ourselves. The brain's ability to gauge and limit our strength is not always perfect, though. But there is phenomenon known as hysterical strength. This phenomenon is the sudden adrenaline-fueled surge of power and stress hormones that can occur in life-or-death situations. Take, for instance, the story of Angela Cavallo, a regular mother who doesn't lift or train at all single-handedly, lifted a staggering 3,500-pound Chevrolet Impala off her son's chest after it fell on him in 1982. Or Tom Boyle, who lifted a 3,000-pound Camaro off a trapped motorcyclist in 2006. These incredible feats defy our understanding of human strength, yet they're not uncommon. While the exact mechanics behind hysterical strength remain a mystery, some experts believe it's the result of our fight or flight response, a primal mechanism that floods our bodies with adrenaline, numbs pain, and provides us with superhuman strength in moments of crisis. Despite the astounding potential of hysterical strength, there's a limit to how much weight a human can consciously lift. Our muscles, tendons, and bones can only withstand so much force before giving way. And even with adrenaline coursing through our veins, there's a point of no return. For instance, our bones are remarkably strong with a tensile strength of around 130 megapascals, similar to steel. But they're also brittle and prone to snapping under extreme pressure. The weight that would cause our bones to give way is estimated to be around 5,000 pounds, 2,268 kilograms. This is equivalent to the weight of a white rhinoceros or a large hippopotamus. In addition to our skeletal limitations, our muscles and tendons have their breaking points. Tendons which connect muscles to bones have a tensile strength of around 50 to 150 megapascals. Under immense stress, they can rupture, resulting in severe injury. Meanwhile, our muscles are composed of countless fibers that work together to contract and generate force. But when pushed to their limits, these fibers can tear, causing excruciating pain and rendering the muscle useless. Another factor that limits human strength is the way our bodies produce and consume energy. When we exercise or perform strenuous activities, our muscles require an immense amount of energy. Our body's primary source of energy comes from a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, ATP. The more ATP our muscles can generate and use, the stronger we become. However, there's a limit to how much ATP our muscles can produce and utilize, which ultimately caps our strength. In light of these factors, it's estimated that the absolute limit of human strength lies somewhere around 5,000 to 6,000 pounds, around 2,500 kilograms, uh, assuming optimal and perfect, top of the food chain bone density, muscle mass, tendon strength, technique, and of course, bunch of steroids. However, it's important to note that reaching this limit would likely result in catastrophic injury or even death making it more of a theoretical maximum rather than a practical goal. But if you are thinking you are not some Icelandic Viking giant, and of course you can't lift hundreds of kilograms, but generally an average people who is not in top tier competitions like powerlifting or strongman like you who is watching this video, you can lift two and three times your body weight maximum in exercises like the deadlift and squat. Of course, after rigorous training and exercise, but this absolute 5,000 to 6,000 pound limit might be a glass ceiling because we're on the cusp of a revolution in genetic engineering that could change the game. Techniques like CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing have made it possible to modify the genetic code of living organisms, including humans. With the right modifications, we could potentially enhance our strength to unprecedented levels. One such avenue of research involves the gene responsible for producing myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. By suppressing the production of myostatin, scientists have been able to create super mice with twice the muscle mass of their normal counterparts. If we could apply similar techniques to humans, we might be able to create lab-grown and lab-modified superhumans. This is straight out of some science fiction novel, but it's very much looks to be true in the future. 
Another potential target for genetic enhancement is our skeletal structure. By altering the genes responsible for bone density and strength, we could create a more robust framework capable of withstanding greater forces. This could pave the way for stronger tendons and muscles, allowing us to lift heavier loads without risking injury. Of course, these ideas are currently in the realm of science fiction, and ethical concerns surrounding genetic engineering must be thoroughly addressed before we even consider implementing such enhancements. But the potential is there, and the day may come when we can redefine the limits of human strength through genetic manipulation. The human body is a remarkable machine, capable of astonishing feats of strength under the right conditions. We may not be able to compete with the raw power of an elephant or the brute force of a gorilla, but we possess a unique ability to tap into the extraordinary power of hysterical strength when faced with adversity. Although there are limits to our strength, the future of genetic engineering may one day enable us to push those boundaries and achieve superhuman capabilities. It's very exciting, but scary at the same time. What do you think? Can somebody break the powerlifting records? And how long will it take these records to be shattered when genetic engineering will come to light? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you with help of these Patreon supporters. If you want to support this channel, head over to Patreon. And thanks to everyone who is supporting. Thanks for watching. More interesting videos are coming up. Please subscribe and hit the like button.